Welcome back to the workshop. Now, I've got a long list of projects I'd like to get to, but I've decided that before I get to all of that, I should clean up some of the projects that I've had sitting around for a while that I've been neglecting. So, today we're going to restore this cleaver. This is a Chinese style cleaver. As it says on the blade here, which you can't really see. It's got some etching that look like Chinese or Japanese characters. I found this at Goodwill for a dollar, but as you can see, this handle is a bit loose. So I'm going to take this off and make a new handle for it. It's not very rusty, but it looks like someone was hitting it with a hammer here as it's got a bunch of etching right on the back of it from where the hammer was striking it, which is bled over into the blade. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this, polish it, take this handle off, and I've gone ahead and prepped a blank here to match the other cleaver that I have upstairs. It's got a piece of purple heart to match the other cleaver, but I've gone with marble wood for the outside, and once this is glued up, we'll start shape, shaping the handle. But for now, I'm going to take this original handle off. This shouldn't be too tough as it seems like it's already split in here, so I'm going to try and get my chisel in here and break it apart. Which went a lot better than planned. Though this is a little more than I was expecting. It's got a hook and it's only a partial tang. And I don't much care for this cap, so I'm gonna switch this out for a piece of copper. What I end up using is some copper piping and I make it myself. I will then cold forge it with a hammer to get the shape that I want. More like the opening here. I kind of close it up a little bit just so it surrounds the handle better. So I'm going to go ahead and run this against my wire wheel and clean it up. And when this handle blank is dry, we'll come back and start prepping the handle. Now that this handle has had time to dry, we've gone ahead and flattened it. And we've got a hole cut for the bottom part of our blade. I'm going to go ahead and fit this copper piece I had pounded for, for a previous project that didn't end up working out. So much like I did with the hammer handle, I'm going to go ahead and trim it down to where it will fit this copper piece on and then from there I'm going to do the rest of the shaping. Much like we did the last time, I'm going to use various files to clean this up. So I'm going to go ahead and use my, my Shinto, this other rasp here, and a regular file to clean this up. Now that I got the top part to fit, I'm going to go ahead and shape the rest of it around it, and then we'll go ahead and start shaping the rest of it. Alright, after all that, it fits pretty snugly, fits all the way down. It's got the slit in here for the blade to sit into. Now we just need to start shaping the handle. I'm going to go ahead and take my draw knife and establish the perimeter all the way up until where the copper is. I'm only going to do about here up so I have a taper down to write about where that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a traditional Japanese style handle that is rounded but squared on the ends.
now that that is established, I'm going to go ahead and take my hand plane and I'm going to square out those edges. shape down and the brass piece have fitted to the handle. I'm going to go ahead and give this a good sanding and then we'll fit the blade to the handle. Alright, we're ready to glue this in place. So I'm going to use the 5 minute epoxy. What I've gone ahead is I've roughed up the surface of the piece that's going to be inserted and I've cut these notches in here. This is going to help secure it in the handle so that the glue has something to grab onto. So it's going to fill these pockets and basically grip it in place to the wood. place. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to clean everything up and then we're going to put an oil coat on that handle. Now that the epoxy is all dry, all that's left is to put a couple coats on this handle and then polish up the blade and the copper piece and we'll be good to go. Now, key thing to note when you are working with Purple Heart, it is always best to put a coat of oil, shellac, or whatever your coating is. In this case, I used oil because this is going to be a kitchen knife. It's always best to freshly sand the surface because that's where that purple color pops out. If you let it sit and oxidize for too long, it turns into more of a, a brown shade. So I always try to get that to pop by giving it a nice sanding just before I put any coats of finish on there. But we'll just let that dry. I'll probably do two more rounds of the oil to make sure that it penetrates really nicely into this handle and then we'll go ahead and polish our metal parts. Now that the handle is dry we're going to go ahead and take this to the buffing wheel and polish up the steel in that copper piece. and shiny. Alright, that's all set and that's going to make a beautiful addition to my kitchen. I really especially like how that marble wood complements the purple heart. It's got a nice grain on the outside here and it really shows the purple color of the purple heart. This was made intentionally to match the other cleaver that I have in my kitchen. That one was made with Purple Heart in the center and Granadillo on the outsides. But because of the dark brown color of the Granadillo, it made it a lot harder to see the Purple Heart in the center. So I like this contrast a whole lot better. It's not too blonde. It's got just the right color to make that purple in the center pop. I am very happy with how this turned out. 
Now because this is a kitchen knife, the polishing is not going to end here. I'm going to end up wiping this off with a dry cloth and then soaking it for a couple hours in a natural oil. I like to use coconut oil. Um, I let it sit for a couple hours so that it penetrates before I give it a final wash. That helps keep the rust off of the blade and it preps it for further use. If you liked this video, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye.